I told you, I started doing comedy in Washington, D.C. And as you know, D.C. has a little crime problem. Right. Yeah, as you know, it's the murder capital. Matter of fact, as D.C. is so bad, a friend of mine who's a police officer told me to buy a gun. All right. Even told me the type of gun to buy. Told me to buy a Walter PPK. This gun costs $400. $400. Now, if I spent $400 for a gun, I'm shooting somebody. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Flesh wound, pinky finger, somebody's getting shot. I refuse to let a $400 gun go to waste. Avon lady, ding dong, boom. <laughs> you would just leave that book on the steps. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Shooting somebody. But you know, ladies, I think I'm going to buy that gun. And please be careful out here. The other day, I was walking down the street, minding my own business, and this guy ran up to me, ripped my blouse open, and grabbed my breast. And it hurt. So I went down to the police station to file a complaint. The police officer asked me what happened. I said, the guy ripped my blouse open and grabbed my breast. He said, well, did you get a good look at him? I said, no. He said, well, we're going to have to dust your breast for fingerprints. <laughs> Nice to 
say about the man? I could have brought home somebody, let's say, 34 years old, just graduated from high school. <laughs> and my father would have found something nice to say. I've been, Dad, this is Tony. He's 34 just graduated from high school. My father would have said, 34 and just graduated from high school. Well, Dad, go to that man. is not a quitter. See, he hung in there. That's a good man. I like him. He won't run out on you because he's too stupid. I like him. My mother gave me some good advice. My mother said, never buy a man a pair of shoes because he'll put them on and walk out of your life. Ever heard that? Put the shoes on, walk out of your life. I wanted to get rid of this loser so bad on his birthday, I bought him a pair of rollerblades. I said, put these on. You roll on out the door and leave me alone. And it worked. It worked. It worked. Well, for about a year. And then one day, when you're vulnerable. But you know what I don't like about drinking? It's like when you're out drinking, it's like someone plays a dirty trick on you. It's like they sneak up on you and sprinkle that enlarging dust on your house key. So by the time you get home, your house key is like five times its normal size. And there's no way and you get that key in the keyhole. You know, she so walks through and it's like, okay. And you put your finger on the keyhole to try to line it up. You cannot get in the house. So don't get me wrong, whenever I was out drinking, I always had a designated driver. But designated drivers never wait for you to get in the house, do they? Designated drivers like, get your drunk tail out of the car. Best name in the night, he's a cutest dude.